Hey guys, what's up? This is your friend and tutor Manas and it's going to be yet another session in this lecture series on engineering mechanics. And in today's video, I will introduce you to a very powerful technique which will help you develop velocity and acceleration relationships between bodies connected to each other by strings, cables or ropes. So what's the big deal? Well, it goes like this. If I show you this arrangement of masses, strings and pulleys and I tell you that go ahead and find me the velocity relationship between the blocks. Now from the outset, it may appear a very tedious job to you, but trust me, it's very easy. So here we go. And this is what I refer to as the net power delivered is equal to zero technique. So we are talking about masses connected to each other via string, which is passing over a pulley. Now the string is solely responsible for the motion between connected bodies, but the string itself does not provide any work to move the objects. The string has an internal force in the form of tension T and if it does a positive work on one side of the string, then it also does a negative work on the other side, which eventually means that the net work done by the string is zero and no work done means no power delivered. So net power delivered is equal to zero. And this is the logic with which we'll be trying to develop relationships between different blocks connected to each other via strings and pulleys. So let's kick off this session by understanding what exactly is an ideal pulley. All right. So there are two conditions which needs to be satisfied. Condition number one, well, an ideal pulley is one whose weight is negligible. So weight is negligible. So that is primarily uh, the first condition for calling any pulley as ideal. Then there is the second condition, which says that tension on both the side of the strings, okay, over here and over here they are going to remain same. Why? Because there is absolutely no friction or rather I should say that we, the friction over here has also been neglected. So if the friction in this portion is neglected, if the friction is neglected, then the tension over here will be equal to the tension over here. So the tension throughout the string will remain same. Although when you do a realistic analysis, you will find the tension on the tighter side will be more and the tension on the slack side will be less. So there is in fact a formula T1 over T2 is equal to E power mu theta. So don't worry, we're going to be discussing this formula in detail when I deal with um, application of friction, especially in case of belt drives. Right now, the friction over this portion, that is the portion of the string, which is in contact with the pulley has to be neglected. And when you do so, the tension over to this part and over this part remains same. So T1 equals T2 or tension towards the left of the string is equal to the tension towards the right of the string. Okay, so these are the conditions which you need to remember. Secondly, let's have this formula power, power developed, okay, or the power given. It's actually a dot product of force and velocity. So F dot V is nothing but F V cosine theta. And if you ask me what theta exactly is, so theta is essentially the angle between the direction of force or the force and the direction of velocity, right? So there could be two different cases, basically that you have to uh, deal with, especially in case of pulleys and strings. Now, just take uh, this example, right? Let's say M2 is going in the downward direction, say with the velocity V2. So what we are assuming is that mass two is greater than mass one. Okay. And if this is the case, then M1 will be going upwards with a velocity, let's say V1. All right. So I've made a free body of these two blocks over here. Well, obviously this V2 is downwards, V1 is upwards. Okay. So the tension over here, since we are assuming it to be an ideal pulley, so the tension over here will be tension over here. So this is T and here also we're going to assume the same tension. Okay. So what's the big deal? So if you watch carefully somewhere here, T is upwards and V is also upwards. That means both tension and velocity are in the same direction. So if both of them are in same direction, then theta is equal to zero degrees. So if you put theta is equal to zero degree over here, cos zero is one. So F V. Okay. In that case, you'll have a positive power, positive power. Remember this. So let me make a plus sign. That would be better. And if theta is equal to 180 degrees, okay, like this tension upwards, velocity is downwards. So obviously if tension is upwards, velocity is downwards. So angle between these is how much it's 180 degrees. So it's a negative power. So remember this, uh, I'm going to be using this concept 
quite a lot in the upcoming examples tension and velocity same direction positive power tension and velocity is opposite direction negative power that's it okay so that was all as far as the concepts are concerned now let's go ahead and apply these concepts to sort of develop velocity and acceleration relationships in blocks connected by strings passing over pulleys so here we go let's start with example number one all right so the concept is that the net power delivered p net is equal to zero always remember okay uh, so we have to work with m1 and we have to work with m2 so the collectively the power developed will be equal to zero all right so this is going upwards with velocity v1 tension always not t1 but t simply that's t t up v up t up and this v downwards so tension and velocity in the same direction so positive power t v1 tension upwards velocity downwards negative power minus t v2 so, so that was pretty simple you can say that v1 essentially is equal to v2 and if we differentiate this with respect to time we will have this relationship a1 equals a2 this is pretty simple okay now let's take a look at this example okay let's just say that in this portion of the string let's uh, just say that the tension is t and since this is one single string tension over here also will be t t plus t collectively will be 2t if this string in this portion of the string has a tension of 2t then over here also the tension will be 2t for m2 let's say that the velocity is v2 okay we already know what the direction of motion is and as far as this concept is concerned in order to apply this implement this you need to know where the direction of motion is where the blocks are moving whether in the upper direction downwards whether in the right hand side or in the left hand side you need to know that and only then you can successfully go ahead and apply this methodology that is the net power delivered is equal to zero technique okay so we're going to start from here if you watch carefully t and v same direction okay so first of all let me write this p net is equal to what zero um, p1 plus p2 is equal to zero since there are two masses that we're dealing with t and v same direction positive power t dot v1 2t upwards v2 downwards opposite directions to t is upwards and uh, tension is upwards and velocity is downwards okay so negative power negative of two times of t and that's v2 and what you can do is v1 is equal to two times of v2 and when you differentiate this you'll have this relationship a1 is equal to two times of a2 okay so this was example two let's go ahead and let's take up one more example okay so there are essentially three blocks in this example so m1 traveling right hand side with velocity v1 m2 traveling left hand side with velocity v2 m3 traveling um, downwards with velocity v3 um, let's say tension here is t over here it's going to be t here it's going to be t here it's going to be t all the points along the string the tension is going to remain same since this is one single string okay okay so t plus t is how much it's 2t let's start from this guy t right hand side velocity is also right hand side positive power since both of them are in the same direction so first of all let me write this p net is equal to zero and p1 plus p2 plus p3 is equal to zero i'm talking about this t dot v1 okay that's positive power what else p2 t and v both of them are again in the same direction okay again it's going to be positive power t dot v2 what about this fellow over here tension is upwards velocity is downwards that means opposite directions negative 2t dot v3 so that's it so you can simplify this v1 plus v2 is equal to 2v3 and when you differentiate this with respect to time we'll have this a1 plus a2 is equal to two times of a3 it's that simple okay okay let's worry about this example say let's say m1 is traveling upwards with velocity v1 and let's say m2 is traveling downwards with velocity v2 let's say tension in this portion of the string let's say it's t over here it's going to be t t plus t that's 2t if this is 2t this portion of the string will also have the same amount of tension 2t plus 2t is how much it's 40 so this is one single string over here also we'll have the same tension 40 40 plus 40 is nothing but 80 so don't worry about that okay we know that the net power delivered is equal to zero so we are working with two masses so p1 plus p2 is equal to zero so let's worry about this one m1 the tensions are 40 2t and t okay, let me write this 40 plus 2t plus t so all the tensions are upwards 
velocity is also upwards that means same direction positive power what about this guy tension upwards velocity downwards opposite direction negative tv2 is equal to 0 so we have this 4 5 6 7 7 7 times of v1 is equal to v2 differentiate this with respect to time you will have this relationship 7 times of a1 is equal to a2 done and dusted pretty easy oh man this looks crazy this is a crazy example okay let's start um let's say this is coming downwards with velocity v1 this is velocity v2 this is velocity v3 the direction of motion has already been given to us we, this is v4 okay let's start from here let's say tension over here is t okay since this is one single string here also it's going to be t here also it's going to be t t plus plus t will become this is going to be 2t if this is 2t this is one single string over here also same tension will be there 2t 2t plus 2t is how much that's 4t this is one single string if that's 4t over here also we're going to have same that's 4t all right if that's 4t here also we're going to have the same tension that's 4t this is one single string here also we're going to have the same tension 4t 4t and 4t is 80 so this is one single string guys this is 80 here also same tension will be there 80 one single string here also it's going to be same 80 and here also it's going to be same 80 so 8 and 8 is 16 right 8 and 8 is 16 so that's that's it now again the same concept net power delivered by the string is equal to 0 So we are working with four masses P1 plus P2 plus P3 plus P4 is equal to zero. Okay, so T upwards, V downwards, right? Opposite directions, negative power minus T times of V1. Okay, what about this? Over here, four plus four is how much? That's eight T. So tension upwards, velocity downwards. Again, opposite directions, negative. How much is the tension? Eight T. Velocity is V2. That's V2. Okay. So the next thing is this. Where is it? Where is it? Yeah, sixteen t upwards, velocity downwards. Again, opposite direction. Okay. So minus sixteen t dot v three, and here also minus. Um, both of them are opposite uh, in direction. So sixteen t dot v four minus sixteen t v four is equal to zero. So we essentially have this relationship that v one. Plus eight v two, plus sixteen v three, plus sixteen v four is equal to zero. And on differentiating with respect to time, the acceleration relationship evolves. So a one plus eight times of v two plus sixteen times of not v two but a two sixteen times of a three plus sixteen times of a four is equal to zero. So guys, that was all from my side for today. If you've got any doubt or query, do write them down in the comment section below. I'll be very happy to answer them. And if you believe that this video tutorial has added value to your knowledge of engineering mechanics, then do share and like this video, subscribe to this channel, and also press the bell icon so that whenever I upload a new video, you get a notification, you get an update. And do tell your friends also about this channel so that they can also benefit. Anyways, I'm going to be back with more such videos on drawing and mechanics and even some other subjects also. Until then. It's a wrap. This is Manas Patnaik signing off. Take care. Have a great day and keep learning.